we're getting kind of long in this episode, long in the tooth, so I might just have to say let my brain rest on it overnight and sleep on it and hit it tomorrow morning and see if I can make more sense of this. So, Because what I do not want to do is somehow take the method that's there and and rename it, you know. Um, I mean, no, that's what I want to do. I don't want to take just the, the, like the whole content, the arguments, everything, just to rename the method. And I know there's like that, there is actually a way to, to invoke the renamer, but that's not what I want to do here. I just want to say change the name of the method, you know. Um, so let's see what this does now. Does it have leading trivia? Doesn't look like it. Does it have trailing trivia? No, it doesn't either. But it could have been on the return type too. That might have also had as parent trivia. And it does have trailing trivia and it doesn't have leading trivia. So um Yeah, I just don't remember off the top of my head how to preserve that. Again, let's copy the value. Come over here. I don't know. Copy, copy the freaking value. There we go. And now let's say F10 it. And even if this doesn't work, I want to go through the rest of the code because I want to see. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not renaming it. Um, I want to make sure that it didn't. So type symbol base type. Oh, for God's sakes. No wonder it didn't find that. So that, that might give me another business rule. Business rule async. One more time with sort of feeling. Okay. It, it just fixes it for me. Yeah, it didn't. Okay. I am curious. Because I'm a curious guy. I'm curious. I, I got to keep moving forward. Hopefully, it, because of all my pauses I've been doing in the video and I've been thinking, I can edit out enough time to not make this too long. Um, but I've also realized I got to start catching up. I've got like, with this one, this will be like seven or eight videos that are ready to be edited, but I've only got a couple left. I think, I think I go through the end of November or early December for videos that I actually have uploaded and scheduled in YouTube. Um, so which is actually nice to do. Now I'm learning to like edit. And as soon as I edit, and render the video is to just push it up to YouTube and schedule it right away. Um, then I don't have to like keep coming back to it, and, like do a whole batch of them. It just seems to go a little faster one and done all the things. Okay, so at some point you're going to say this is wrong because you do. Okay, so now we say it does do that. That's not what I want. <laughs> I don't want to um <coughs> Oh crap. <laughs> Did it just actually go off? And um change where that's actually defined in CSLA. Dear God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would be downright silly. Um, so this isn't really what I. That was actually going all the way over to the class, and 
<coughs> changing it. No, it actually didn't because it's trying to do it within the scope of my node. So it wouldn't have done that. That wouldn't have actually worked. Um, but this isn't quite what I want. I don't really know what I want. Um, where this symbol is declared in source. That's not what I want. I don't want its base type. I want find implementation, get attributes, get hash code, members, type members. I do not want the symbol. I want it to... Okay, what am I doing wrong? Let's go back to the syntax visualizer. It's like I know what I want. I want... Oh, you're complaining because I... Oh, come on! You stupid thing. Why does it do this? Seriously? Are you... You know what? God dang it! Sometimes the syntax visualer just dies. And that makes me sad. So it's the base list. Maybe type symbol dot. I think what I want to do. For each var type symbol declaration and type symbol syntax type symbol reference in this. Okay. So now I've got the, the reference. Now what I want to say is Oh, I'm going to need the model now. Um, semantic model. Except let's stick it at the back of this. Our type symbol reference. Well, no, I'm just... I'm going around in circles if I do that. That's not what I want. Node is equal to TSR get syntax. That's what I want. I want the node. But why? Oh, because now I want to say um, TSRN base. You son of a as type declaration syntax. That's what it has to be. And then you die again. You suck. Why can't I just have a simple, like, no. I just want a simple list of things I can just put here and say, go away. So those are simple base types. Okay, so they both will be in the base list. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. So that gets me the type declaration syntax. Node. Now what I want is... Um, For each var base type node in base list, sending nodes, of type base.
what did you call it again? It is a simple base type. Simple base type. Okay, so that's a simple base type. Now what do I need to do? Base type node name. No. Identifier? No. Because of course you wouldn't. Why would you ever do that? I am swearing to God that this thing, I, mm, losing my cool here. I just want to get the identifier name from a simple, no, get identifier name. No, of course not. You would never give me the freak. Why? Text. Just anything. Get text. God, why do they make this so hard? What is this? Ascendant notes of type. Identifier name syntax. Single dangerous, but I don't give a crap. Okay, so now I'm at the point where var base type node identi identifier equals that. If Are you identifier name? Why can't you just give me the freaking text, value text? I mean, seriously, text, text, text. I mean, identifier value text is equal to business rule. My God. Then we want to yield return where this is that. So we go through all the bases. So we get that. Now, if it's this, then do that. Else, if it's I business rule, we say I business rule sync. And we take out all that. Let's see how that feels. This is just something where I cannot omit defeat. I can't. I might end up slitting this video into two. I don't know. Because this is going... It's just... just it's, don't let me stop. Just, i got to keep going. I can't fuck. This is fun, right? This is fun. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Lots of fun. I really hope that frame rate is like, because my, I had to look, because the, uh, God, was my camera like really down? Because I'm in, like that should be like that a little bit better. Oh, well, that's okay. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, you still didn't work, did you? Nope. Nope, you did not. You did not. You did not. The thing that is sad about all this stuff is that there really isn't any good 
strong documentation and, and all this is relevant you know all of it is not relevant it's not relevant it's relative to what you're doing so you can't just you know there, there's so much in here it's like well what is it that you're trying to do and that's always the struggle with this stuff is trying to figure out how to get it to the point of what you're trying to do okay good you found one. Oh, wait a minute I'm yielding the identifier, not the actual base type. That's the, well, I can't say that's the last thing I'm going to try, because, because really what we're, what we're yielding out of here is a simple base type node. I could have actually done apples to apples here instead of it doing up there. But that's <coughs> that's okay for now. I can clean it up a little bit nicer later. Yeah, if this doesn't work, then I'm just being an idiot, and I can't. I'm gonna have to just kind of like do this one at a time. Like say, can I replace the nodes? Can I re you know? Can I replace the base types? Can I replace the the name of the method? Blah, 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 you know. Okay. Still not. Still not good enough. And by not good enough, I mean not at all. I can't let this go. You know what? We're going to do that. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Old, new. Oh, old base, new base, base, new base. Yeah. <coughs> At this point, I'm going to have to tell myself. Remember to do two versions or two splits of this because this is just going way 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 too long and It will not replace this. Mother God. Oh. I have been defeated, unfortunately, for now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I can't change this, and I can't change this. I will not do it. And there's nobody to blame but myself. I just can't figure this out. So, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know what the problem is. Um, you know, I, I don't have any clue as to how to just say, take a method. And just say like rename. That's but I don't want to rename the override. That's not what I want to do. I want to change just the text of the method. That's all I want to do. There would be a way to do it. Oh well, I hate leaving it like this because it feels like this should be an easy thing to do, but I am not finding it, so oh well. 
I'll figure it out later. So thank you all for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.